Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the movies that I watched during the month of January, so stick around. So during the month of January, I did watch a total of 37 movies. Um, 29 of those were westerns um, because I was doing Mid-Level Media's Western Month. So I did watch 27 westerns during the month. So a majority of these films will be westerns, but I did watch some other ones also. Um, so first up, before I knew that there was a Western month, I did watch About a Boy. So this right here is what I watched on January 1st. Really good movie. I had never seen this one before. And someone had recommended that I check it out. So I did. Really enjoyed it. So definitely check that one out, check that one out if you've never seen it. Um, the next um, film I watched was a Western called De um, The Desperados. It is part of the Randolph Scott Collection. So I did dig into this collection. It has a lot of great films in it. I watched six of these films during the month of January. So the first one that I watched was The Desperados. And then I also watched The Nevadan. Um, those were two pretty good movies. Um, these Randolph Scott movies from um, Mill Creek Entertainment aren't the best, I guess you would say, westerns out there, but they were enjoyable. So I'm very happy that I was able to check those out. Okay, the next um, movie that I watched was on a, um, was on streaming. I think it was on either Amazon Prime or on Netflix with Sandra Bullock. And it was called The Unforgivable. Someone had recommended that I check that one out, and I did. I thought it was pretty good. It was a pretty good movie. Um, kind of um, slow during the movie, but overall I'm really happy that I watched it. Um, if you've never seen... Um, the Unforgivable, definitely check that one out with Sandra Bullock. Okay, the next movie that I watched was called Monster. Now, I had seen this one before, um, starring Charlize Theron and Christina Ricci, um, based on a true story, a, a true crime um, story. And so I wanted to revisit that one, so I watched that. I really did enjoy it. It's a really dark and depressing type movie. Um, I do remember seeing it for the first time back when Blockbuster was still open. I remember getting the DVD. Um, but definitely check out Monster if you've never seen it. Okay, next up I did um, watch two more Randolph Scott films. I watched um, Santa Fe and Man in the Saddle. Um, both of those were pretty good. And then the next movie that I watched, I wanted to kind of get away from the Randolph Scott films. So I did watch All the Pretty Horses. This right here was a Mill Creek release. I had never seen this one before. Really beautifully shot movie uh, with Matt Damon and Henry Thomas in it. If you've never seen this movie, I would highly recommend you check it out. Really good story. I really did enjoy the um, characters in this movie. So really good to have watched that one. Then the next one I revisited was The Magnificent Seven here on 4K. Um, this right here was only my second time watching this film. I really did think it was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy the all-star cast. Got a lot of great players in it. So The Magnificent Seven. Definitely check out this 4K release if you can. It's got a really nice presentation and the audio is really great in this film. Okay, next up I um, watched one of the Criterion Collection um, westerns called Jubal. I had never seen this one before. It is, of course, an older movie from 1956. Really enjoyed the story, the acting, um, just the way that it looked. Very good um, recommendation, so I'm very happy that I was able to watch this one from the Criterion Collection. The next um, the next films that I watched <clears throat> were the Scream films. I was preparing for the new Scream movie during the month of January, so I, I did watch Scream 2, Scream 3, and Scream 4. Um, so I just watched these during the month of January to catch up before I went and saw the film. I really do enjoy the Scream movies. And I'm very happy that I was able to see these before the the newest film, which I watched a few days later. Um, but so I caught up on the screen movies, and then I watched Young Guns. Um, I hadn't seen this one since its first theatrical release, and it, so it had been a while since I watched it. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I remembered enjoying it. It was kind of slow, from what I understand. Young Guns Two is a little bit better. Um, but I did watch Young Guns, so I'm very happy to have watched that one. Okay, next up, I watched The Vengeance Trails um, set. I opened this up and watched these films. So there's four films in it. Um, first up, I watched 
I guess it's called um, Massacre Time. So these films here <clears throat> that I watched, I had never seen them before. And I didn't enjoy them as much as I thought I was going to enjoy them. Um, but they were kind of... I don't know, I just didn't enjoy them as much as I thought I would. But I watched Massacre Time. And then I watched My Name is Pecos. And I watched... Um, the Banditos or Banditos, and I also watched And God Said to Cain. So those, these right here were films that I had purchased from um, Arrow Video, I do believe, and um, I thought I was going to really like them, but I didn't care very much for them, so I will probably put those up for sale because I, I can't imagine myself wanting to revisit those. And then... After I watched these four films, of course, I went and watched in the theater. I watched the new Scream 5 movie, which I did enjoy. I, um, I thought it was pretty well done. It was nice to revisit um, the characters and meet these new characters. So very happy to have been able to see Scream in the theater. Um, next up, I watched Last Train from Gun Hill from the Imprint Films line. This right here was probably one of my favorite movies that I had seen of, of the westerns. I really enjoyed the performances of um, Kirk Douglas and Anthony Quinn. So if you never checked out Last Train from Gun Hill, definitely check it out. It's also available from the Paramount Presents line. And then I watched House of Cards. I had never seen this one before. I thought this was going to be a western just because of the way that it looks. The artwork made me think that it was going to be a western, but in reality I do not believe that it was a western. Um, so anyway, I watched House of Cards, and then I watched this film that someone had recommended that I, somebody had recommended that I watch this during the Western month. So I ordered this from Amazon, and it came in. I watched The Proposition. Really enjoyed this film. It's really dark and gritty. Um, so if you've never seen The Proposition, definitely check that one out. Okay, next up, I um, watched another one that was recommended called The Missing. Um, this right here has Tommy Lee Jones and Kate Blanchett in it. Really good story. I really didn't enjoy this one about a woman and her two daughters. Um, and one of the daughters gets, I guess, kidnapped. So definitely check this uh, movie out. I would definitely suggest you check that one out. It's a really good film. And then another recommendation was The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. This right here stars um, Brad Pitt. And Casey Affleck. I thought it was going to be one movie, but it was really something different. Um, it was a good story. The way that they did the storytelling was interesting. It wasn't my favorite, but um, I really did enjoy Casey Affleck's performance. Um, Brad Pitt, for the most part, wasn't really... I don't know. He didn't really have much in the movie, um, in my opinion, as far as a lot of um, dialogue and stuff. Mostly the film featured um, Casey Affleck for the most part. So, anyways, I watched Jesse James. Okay, the next film I watched is from the um, Warner Archive collection called Ride the High Country. Um, another Randolph Scott film. Something that wasn't part of the Mill Creek set. Um, I do remember enjoying this one more than any of the other Randolph Scott films. So very happy to have watched that. And then I did watch the 4K of The Quick and the Dead. It had been a while since I've seen this one. This right here is another one of my very favorites from the Western Month. If you've never seen The Quick and the Dead, it's a fun movie. Almost reminds me a little bit of, of The Magnificent Seven. Um, really good story with these characters. Great performances. It's got a young Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Um, definitely check The Quick and the Dead out if you've never seen it. And then I opened up another Criterion Collection called Stagecoach. Um, this right here was an older film um, from 1939. And it really does show its age. I thought it was going to be one film. I thought it was going to be something different than what it was. Um, I enjoyed it, but it was really slow paced. Um, but very happy that I got to see it. Okay, the next one is another Warner Archive Collection. Um, I got Man in the Wilderness, starring Richard Harris. This is the film that The Revenant was based off of, kind of, the same story. Um, it was really good. I really enjoyed this one. Great performance. So definitely check out Man in the Wilderness. 
Okay, the next film I watched was The Man from Snowy River. <clears throat> this right here was a really beautiful film. Got a lot of nice um, um, scenery in it and the music. Um, it's got a pretty good story. It's mostly a love story, though. In my in my opinion, it was mostly a love story. Um, but The Man from Snowy River is definitely one that you should check out. And then I watched um, from Kino Lorber. I opened up some of those and watched Bend of the River with James Stewart um, and Rock Hudson. Never seen this one before. Um, pretty much enjoyed this one. It was pretty good. It's one of those older films. Really beautiful scenery. And then another James Stewart film from Kino Lorber, um, Broken Arrow. I watched this one. It's mostly cowboys and Indians. Really good story. And then another um, Kino Lorber. I watched A Duel at Diablo with James Garner and Sidney Poitier. Um, I did not enjoy this one as much as the previous two. Um, I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird. The acting didn't seem very good. Um... But I did watch this. Okay, and then I kind of got um, a little tired of the Western stuff. So I wanted to change it up a little bit um, for just a, one movie. And I watched The Monster. I had never seen this one before. This is from A24. Um, this right here was a really good story. I had never seen this before. Didn't really know much about it. It's a pretty quick watch. It's really got a very small cast in it. Mostly just the mother and the daughter with a few flashbacks. Really good story, really good creature. If you've never seen The Monster, definitely check that one out. And then I went back to the Westerns and I watched The Revenant in 4K. I've got my Blu-ray slip on it. But really, um, this, was the, this was the second time that I had seen this movie. Been a very long time since I had watched it. I don't really remember much about it from the first time, just the main pieces of it. So it's really nice to revisit this one. If you've never seen The Revenant, check it out. Beautiful score, beautiful cinematography. It just looked perfect in 4K. Definitely check that out. And then I watched a movie with Robert Redford called Jeremiah Johnson. Um, this right here is an older film. I guess 70, 1972, I do believe. Just a little bit older than I... Just a little bit. Anyways, it was a pretty good film. I had never seen it before. Really beautifully um, shot with mostly snow um, and mountains. It is about a mountain man. It's got some um, songs in it like a theme song type of thing. It had an intermission in it. It had a... It, anyways, it had a lot of stuff in it. It was only two hours long. I thought it was going to be a lot longer with the intermission in, in between. But it's got Robert Redford in it. Really good film. I really enjoyed it. And then the last movie I watched in the month of January was Hell or High Water. Of course, this is one of my favorites. I really did love this one. Um, I saw this originally in the theater. I've got the 4K release. I had never seen the 4K before. Just really beautiful movie. One of the best. If you've never seen Hell or High Water, definitely check that out. So those are the movies that I watched during, month of, during the month of January. Now, I did watch some other things during January um, in between the movies. So I have made it a goal again this year to watch at least a minimum of one movie a day, which I did last year. Um, I'm trying to beat the number of movies that I watched last year with this year. But also I've got TV shows that I keep up with and streaming shows that I like to keep up with. So during the month of January, I also watched Succession. Someone had recommended that I check out Succession. I had never seen that show before. I think it's on HBO Max. So I watched all three seasons of that um, show. I really did enjoy it. It kind of it was nice to take a break from some of these movies. So if you've never seen Succession, definitely check that out. And then I also watched Ozark Season 4, um, Part 1. I love Ozark. Um, I enjoy all of that aspect of that show. And so it was nice to watch that um, Season 4, Part 1. I really did enjoy it. So those are the films and the TV shows that I watched during the month of January. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these titles that I watched. And also let me know what you watched during the month of January. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.